I just want to ask you some questions about the past, present, future, and purpose of life. And there's no right answers, just want to hear what you guys think. So the first question is, where do you think everything came from? Uh, origin. What is the origin of everything? That's a big bang. Yeah. Big bang. That's what I want in science class, so that's what I'm going Okay, okay. So you just... You're happy with that kind of scientific, well, at least where science is right now, yeah, where the majority of scientists would say. Yeah. Have you considered any other alternatives to that? Uh, I, mean, like, yeah, I guess we like never really know. I don't know. Yeah. We've always like I've gone to a more religious school, so we've kind of learned both. But... So you've learned God, God possibly. Yeah. Yeah. What do you guys think about that? Any of you religious in any way? Um, yeah. Sometimes. I yeah. feel like there is like like a higher like. Yeah, I like think it's power, like, like the universe, like a spirit or something. Yeah, I feel like, like there's a higher power, but like I'm, I don't know. I don't know if it's. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't call it a god. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Okay. Good. Good. Let's move to the present. Um, would you, it, assuming you would agree, there's lots of suffering and evil in the world. Why is that, or what's the cause of that? I think it's religion. Okay, you think it? So, okay. Yeah, but if, and what what makes you say that? I just think there's just so many different beliefs, and that there's not they don't really come to agreements, which is why I don't really like put myself out there as a like religious person. Yeah. So it's kind of dangerous to believe anything yeah, too strongly. Lots of wars start because of religion. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, would you throw in non sort of theistic worldviews in there, like atheism or secularism or? I think it's the conflict of like different beliefs. Yeah. yeah. No matter what they are, yeah. whether they believe in God or not, it's just we, we all don't yeah. agree. Okay. Would you say that human beings have free will? Some extent, but I mean, there's the government that's always yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's probably higher powers over there. I think we like to think we have free will, but like, yeah, but we don't. In the long run, really. Oh, really? Yeah. So we're just complicated machines? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. That, that has ramifications, doesn't it? If we really believe that. Okay. Uh, what about ethics? Um, uh, what? Does do right, absolute right and wrong exist? And if so, where where? Everyone has different yeah. opinions. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's right entitled to their own opinion. Yeah. I feel like there isn't right and wrong because no one's going to agree on what's yeah. right and wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't know. And there's okay. and there's often always evidence for something that yeah. is one or the other. Yeah. Okay, so Hitler was okay, was ultimately okay. Well, no, not in no, our eyes, because our opinion is not a yeah, good yeah. thing. You know, the wrong, those, like, but for him, maybe he thought he was yeah, right. And all his followers thought he was right. Yeah. Yeah. It's just opinions. The Nuremberg trials put German uh, Nazi Germans on trial, mm -hmm. and their argument was we were just following orders and doing what was right in our context, but the court said, no, sorry, that's not a good argument. You just killed a lot of innocent people. So who was right? Well, well I, think, I don't think they your... should go to jail. I think, I mean, there always is, what we said before, there's always, like, a it's always higher subjective. person, and, you know, you always follow what you've been told. If you've been, like, grown up in, like, a certain way, and that's what you believe, and that's what you've been around your whole life, then you can't really tell other people's right and wrong because you haven't been around. Oh, yeah. So, ultimately, Hitler's okay. That's what you're telling no, me. No, Hitler's well, not okay. What we're <laughs> well, but you kind of are. In his context. In okay. his belief. In his yeah, belief, he correct. thought he was okay. But, but to us, obviously. No. But some people might have thought that he's okay. Yeah, like, <laughs> okay, but, but I'm saying objectively, not subjectively, objectively. No, no matter what, it, he was wrong. Am I, can I say that? To you. Well, to us. <laughs> but that's subjective. I'm saying objective. But there's always two perspectives. Well, you are saying he was wrong. 
he was yeah. wrong. Okay, he was wrong. You think he was wrong? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Obviously. Okay, but that's, that's a big like, admission. Yeah. So where does that objective <laughs> right and wrong come from? Uh, how Who is that? Because the amount of people that died. Yeah. That's what we believe, and that's yeah. what we've been around. And but that sounds subjective again. Well, yeah. what, what, what? Do you know the difference between no. that? No. no well, objective like... doesn't depend on what any of us think. It's right oh, or it's wrong. Okay. Period. Like Even if everyone said something was yeah. wrong when it was right objectively, it would still be right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's definitely not right. Yeah. <laughs> well, I could ask, and this is a little bit, little bit more controversial, let's say we pass laws outlawing all uh, sort of anything except male and female gender. Oh, yeah. So oh, let's say we pass a law <laughs> that you couldn't be anything but male or female. Well, See what I, I mean? Well, people but you, but that. no, let's say a majority, let's say 75% of New Zealanders agreed with that and they said, yes, we need that law. Laws won't change anything though, people will still do it. It's yeah. like how it's like committing crime. Abortion like, was illegal. Yeah. People still get abortions. Yeah. They you know, <laughs> vaping's illegal. Yeah. People still, I still have a cheeky type. Yeah, like, right, <laughs> but we have to have, uh, right, but we, ha we have laws. And let's say the majority was in favor of that. Uh, Would that be okay? No, because then that, you don't have a human. It's okay, not. so you're saying, you're again, you're going to something objective, like they shouldn't do that. Well, I it's like just like, like, then that means that you don't, but you, why does you don't have, have free human rights. I don't think there is such thing as, it, like, well, yeah, well, I, I'm just saying, I am a lawyer, I'm just oh, saying, God, yeah. but I'm saying, you know, is yeah, so I guess we're kind of at a stalemate, yeah. is there objective morality or not? Yeah. I don't know. Is that, yeah. I'll figure yeah. it out. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. How do we solve the problems in the world today? What do you guys think? What's the key to... Be nice. I think, just, just, I think it's just favor. people need to listen on kindness and acceptance. Well, like, like, the, like, older generations, like, they need to, like, be more open-minded to yeah. things. Like, they're just so, like, forward-thinking. Well, not forward-thinking, like, the opposite. Backward. Yeah, backward-thinking. Backward thinking. Backward thinking. Yeah. Okay. So, you feel like your generation is kind of progressing. I think they're yeah, more think... respectful of other people. Yeah. Yeah. Like, because it's just Good. So tolerance. Yeah. Yeah. And if we just do that thing, we'll be. We'll yeah, be like much... we're all our individual humans. Like, like no yeah, one can control yeah. it. The world won't be perfect, but like. Yeah, you can't fix everything. Yeah, because no one's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> okay. No one's perfect. That's yeah. interesting. Okay. And uh, what is going to happen in the future? Uh, in in your best sort of guess, what's where's the world headed? believe that it will change. But I, don't I don't think know. there's going to be like flying cars or anything. <laughs> so like, <laughs> futuristic. Yeah. I don't know. I don't Maybe. think much will change because you always think that it's changed but then you look back then, a few no, years no, and you go, well, 20 years ago they didn't have phones. Yeah. yeah. Or planes, like, like traveling wasn't a thing. Like, mm. It has changed. Um, so technology will increase. Yeah, will technology human, will Will humans things. improve? Yeah. No, probably no. Absolutely. I think that's no. what I mean by it's gonna stay the same. Like yeah. people think and that AI, they've AI, become better. And AI is literally like yeah, yeah. AI. Yeah, AI will stuff? probably take over the world in yeah. twenty years. And yeah. we need we'll all be dead. Yeah. Okay, well I'll be dead. Okay, <laughs> and scientists do say that one day the sun will run out of energy or yeah, you like know, climate we'll change. Climate change. Like they always we'll be fine. say that the world's gonna end on the day and it never does. So I feel like so they're lying. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> still, okay. All right, I'll enough. just go marry an alien and I'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Trip to Mars. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then so that's past, present, future, and then purpose. What is the ultimate purpose of life? Is there is Have there fun. an overarching purpose for everything? Uh, yeah. An objective purpose? No. Yeah. You can do whatever you want, honestly. If you're just enjoying your life and you're not harming others. Yeah, exactly. Just be respectful. Yeah. Okay. So. And follow your passions. So there, you so you, there can be Find a personal purpose, purpose but there's yeah. no I sort of. Yeah. I don't think there is any. Well, I feel like you just like we just wake yeah, up. You be a get it for like, everyone. Yeah. Wake up, live life, die. Have, Have kids, love. maybe. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just the same thing. Like. I, don't know, I feel like there's no. Okay. Purpose, like, 
Is that is that? I mean, like people will like. Yeah. I think it's not an overall purpose to life. I think it's individual purposes. Yeah. To life. Yeah. Like what you like, want to like do. Your own own yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. if you want to be a doctor, like your purpose is probably like help people and like. Yeah. Or like a lawyer, like. Yeah. Help people. Or make a lot of money. Yeah. Yeah. Is that yeah. a legitimate it's, it's purpose? Yeah. purpose? Yeah. I mean. So Donald Trump, like, yeah. he has a legitimate purpose in life. Yeah. Uh, everyone does. He, he has a purpose, but it's just not, <laughs> it's not a good one. Maybe it's not a good purpose, but it's a purpose. It's interesting. You're saying it's not a good purpose, but that's his purpose. Yeah. You're judging him, aren't you? Yeah, I do you judge that, him. See, that's, like, the thing. that's like, your personal opinion. Yeah. yeah. Subjective. You're, you're but you're not, you're, we're not objective. But we're not offending him. Yeah. yeah. He's not he doesn't know us. Anyways, he works for I'm not defending Donald Trump, oh, <laughs> even though I am American. So, um, <laughs> yeah, cool. And uh, I guess the last question is, what what do you think is going to happen after death? Do you think there's um, any kind of judgment or he- what do you heaven mean? and hell? Uh, or uh, like, where do you go? will you, I'm, will I reckon you, you just, continue to I reckon live? I close your eyes and you no, die honestly, and you rot on the ground. I I reckon you're I'm going to be made into yeah, rocks. Lucky, lucky, I believe in like reincarnation. Like, yeah, I, kinda, like, I, I think yeah. it's like good to think that that's yeah. going to happen. Good to think. Like, I could have been like Michael Jackson in my past life. Yeah, I always think about that. Like, Ooh, Michael Jackson. Yeah, just a random person. Were you born at the same year that he no, died? No, but like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, like Trisha Paytas' baby. Oh, how yeah. she, how, oh how, God, that's Queen Elizabeth. Yeah. So cool. She's having but you a, don't. She's having another you don't have baby any proof that Charles that's going to happen. Yeah, we just, don't. No, we don't have proof. You don't need it. But how would you get just... proof? Die. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's a good question. Yeah, that's one of the things that I just don't think you ever. Yeah, you don't. But you don't need to. It's like you just want to have an idea of what you believe is going to happen. Yeah. Okay. But I think you die and you die. You are in the ground and you die. You die and nothing's going to happen. I think the well, I memory feel, of you yeah. is what keeps you alive. I feel like people yeah. like to believe in heaven and hell just so they can like find have a purpose. purpose in life or yeah, mm. purpose. Stop it. <laughs> so people want a purpose. Yeah, people yeah. want a purpose. Even though there heaven. isn't. Really yeah, and they want to reach. They want to reach. Do all these good things in life to reach their purpose, which would be heaven. But yeah. I think that's what people believe. Yeah, no, I agree. Well, Same I don't with know. like Buddhism and. Reaching Nirvana yeah. and mm. Christianity okay. is heaven and hell. And yeah. I think a lot of religions have. They want to find their purpose and their That's purpose three. is drawn to yeah. the afterlife. You know? yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I would agree with that. Okay, cool. Can I share another view of things to give you something to consider? Sure. Okay, and thank you for your um, your honest answers. So, um, yeah, I am a Christian and I do think that the yeah and the, yeah and and fair enough you don't have to agree with me but it's good to just hear how uh, you know the christian worldview responds to these same questions do you questions. think that your beliefs affect your work as a boy i think they that's a good question yeah that is a good question i think because yeah because my christian faith is at the, basically the core of who i am it affects pretty much every aspect of life. Definitely. Do you, think that you sometimes have like prejudice towards like I mean what type of lawyer are you? What type of lawyer? Yeah. Oh. Uh, Is it like I'm, criminal I'm a military military lawyer, so pretty much criminal, civil, <laughs> environmental, kind of the of cats and dogs really. Yeah. Are any of you studying law? Yeah. You are. Cool. What year are you in? Uh this is gonna be my first year. Nice. Oh, well, I wish you the best in your legal studies. It's, it's a fun, it's, you'll, yeah, you'll have fun reading about the law, the different yeah. theories about ethics. It's, it's, it's really fun. So I wish you the best. But yeah, I think, um, yeah, I think my faith definitely is, is part of who I am deep within myself, you know, and I haven't always been a Christian. So yeah, it's definitely something. Were your parents Christian? Um, yeah, my mom was a strong Christian. My dad was, you know, my parents were divorced. Um, I, mean, I, like I was, I was Christian, yeah. and like my my mom's not really Christian, but my, my, my like awesome. friends. Mm. I feel like the American Christians are like a bit Very, different. Like I, I don't agree. Like with not in a bad way. Are you? Mo- is it different? Mormon? Like yeah. Mormon? No, okay, no, no, good. definitely not. The yeah. Mormons are around here, but no. Yeah. No, I'm just, just. Just basically basic evangelical Christian. Just uh, just kind of the the basics. Yeah. And and that's really 
what I'm going to share with you is based the basic message that all Christians, because churches did have different, slightly different, you know, disagreements on little things, but overall they would agree on the big things, and that's basically that God is the Creator. He's very kind. Um, he's powerful. He's good. He's loving. He's just, um, and he's a Trinity. So Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Yeah. Yeah. The thing is, though, if he's so good, why do bad things happen? Like, why is there war? Why, is, why do people get killed in car crashes? Yeah, Voltaire asked that everything? same question in Candide, which I'm reading right now. Oh, okay. uh, like, if there I'll, was a passionate Christian, it's something bad happens. Yeah. Like, 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 um, That's priests why, who touch the Why boys. do bad why do things do happen to good people? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, my wife has cancer, so, oh, I mean, and she's sorry, a mother. strong believer, so, no. you know, I guess we answer that question by saying that God is perfectly good and perfectly loving. He knows what my wife's going through with his um, omnipresence, which just means he's everywhere. He's om omniscient. He knows everything. And he has a plan, basically. And he can, through our suffering that we go through as a couple, he can bring out a greater good. Maybe she'll get healed at some point. Even if she doesn't, maybe... You know, there is there is a purpose. I guess you have faith. You're not going to see it in this life, but you have trust in who God is and that he has a good and perfect plan, and that gets you through the hard times. And you also know that God sent his own son into the world to suffer. So it's he's not a God that just turns a blind eye to our suffering. Yeah, yeah, which is often like the root of religion. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, if I so let me go through the story real fast, and then hopefully that will answer. Our our first parents, um, Adam and Eve, the Bible says that they rebelled against God. So God put them in a perfect garden, the Garden of Eden, and um, they had everything they wanted, and there was just a tree of testing, and they ate from that tree. And they brought in sin and death, and it became a barrier between us and God. And that's where fear and sin and that kind of selfishness that we find in our hearts. Did he that, create that though? No, he didn't create it, but he did but create them Adam with Eve. free will. That's why I asked you about so free will. Adam and Eve are the reason that bad things happened. Sin and death so came into the world. Because God's original plan was for them to live in fellowship with Him forever, including their children. Um, but when they s rebelled and sinned against God, they brought the suffering into the world. So in other words, there was a beginning to, s to suffering. And the good news is that there's going to be in an end to it too. It's bookended, if you will. So that's the good news. So here we are. We're children of Adam and Eve. Uh, we all come from them, according to Scripture. And we, when we're born, we're not born into the Garden of Eden, obviously. We're born into the fallen world. Yeah. If you were a biology teacher and you had to teach about evolution, what would you say? Yeah. Because my biology teacher was a Christian and she didn't teach us properly. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, I had that in like the sex. Yeah. So I just kind of had to relearn everything in your seven. It was really awful. Yeah. I kind of feel like. In that kind of sense, you just don't press your faith on other people. Yeah. I think it's yeah. like, sorry, I'm breaking. So that's the thing, I don't think like you should press your I think that's like a good, uh, I wouldn't take that as my biological belief, but I'd like to have that as like just. Kind of the separate same them? As, yeah, separate them. Yeah. Because you know, the, the whole thing with the afterlife thing, I'm also like reincarnation of heaven and hell is like a concept I think that is just like a good way to understand things yeah yeah yeah, yeah. But I wouldn't I would say, say that that's fact I think it's a good way to uh, process what's happening in the world for yeah yeah I, I would say it's not only <laughs> helpful yeah, but <laughs> but truthful as well yeah um let me yeah so yeah, we'll on in biology I'm not a biologist um I think the Darwinian evolution theory has some real big holes uh, in it, actually. Uh, 
uh, the lack of fossil evidence for um, for mean? changing. Well, we don't have um, so we don't do have, have fossil evidence showing a like gradual a change yes, between. I don't. I don't. I'm sorry. I don't I, think so. There's so much evidence. No, actually, the evolutionists. Africa theory, all of that. Mm. So I'm gonna say if you if you were one on one with a scientist mm. who was trying to prove something, what, who would win? Um, I would say, I would say there's uh, there's good evidence that the animals uh, are, are are made just as Genesis says in kinds. So dogs, there's a lot of varieties of dogs, but they all but they're all in the dog family, wow. and they they stay in those sort of the, in that wow. realm. And cats are cats. If you know anything about dogs and cats, they're quite different. House cat acts like a, a lion. You know, it's just a little lion. Of, whereas a wolf in Alaska will act, you know, much like Rover at home, right? So, so basically, yeah, the Bible does teach special creation of the various kinds. Christians do differ on how old the Earth is and how old the universe is. So there is, there is uh, within Christianity debate about that. But we all believe that God created the world, and there. There's good evidence that God did because of what? the complexity of our yeah, our bodies. True. They're yeah. amazing. Yeah. I mean, the cell. Yeah. I yeah. Um, I don't. Yeah, I haven't been able Wait, to reconcile. Like, oh. Were you a Christian when you were at school? Um, no. No, no, I came to Christ when I was about 22 or 23. Because I was just like, I feel like how would you have taken biology classes? Can I just ask, is the purpose of this YouTube video to project Christianity onto us? Project Christianity? Oh, it's to share the good news with you, yeah. It, it was to share share the good news, which I haven't got there. I, yeah, we can, I think, <laughs> I'm on the bad um, news the so the next far. person, well, I mean, are you doing this, going interviewing a lot of people? Yeah. Okay. We have I think it would be a nice thing to them let them know beforehand because I thought this would just kind of yeah, be about no what's happening in the world. So I think telling someone beforehand because it does feel a little projector. That's how my personal beliefs. Yeah, and you know, I mean, it's like you're very good at getting us like here because if someone was on the street asking yeah. for a Bible, I would I would say no. I would say no. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> But I think it's, I think it would be polite on yeah. your behalf to the next people that you interview just to say state beforehand what, yeah. what your purpose is in the whole video. Because, well, the I purpose mean, people, is people, to people hear people your worldview. I guess if you say what it's about, then they'll probably say... Different no. Different. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, to be fair, we did say, we did, we, I did ask. Um, no, it's okay. Oh yeah, we're not we mad. Ask you some yeah, questions yeah. about your worldview, and we spent probably 20 minutes doing that, yeah. maybe 15 minutes. And then I asked, may I share with you an, an another worldview for you to consider? Yeah. I I do this all the time. This is probably the hundredth time I've done this. Okay, and you just said yes, and so okay. I was beginning to <laughs> shut up now. Okay, <laughs> cool. And I'll, I will be succinct. So um, here we are. We're were born into the fallen world. Mm -hmm. And so the religions of the world, which there are many, you guys talked about that, they basically say we need to work hard to try to get back to nirvana or heaven uh, or salvation or a good afterlife, whatever you want to call it. And so all of the religions of the world basically give us a list of do's and don'ts to try to achieve that. And um, the problem with that is that no matter how hard we try, we cannot achieve the level of goodness and righteousness that we need to be with God because He's absolutely perfect. And that's what do you that's mean to be the problem. Sorry, what do you mean to do? Oh. To be like in heaven. To be yeah, to be to to basically to have a renewed relationship with God. So that sin death barrier is so strong basically that even if we're the best person we know compared to other people, you know, we, usually we compare ourselves to other people and say I'm yeah. a good person, but 
the actual standard according to scripture is God himself and there we fall short and that's the problem so that's why religion is actually not the way to be right with God so we're stuck in this fallen world and we can't break through this barrier but that's the amazing grace message of the gospel is that God sent his son down so God himself God the son became one of us and he showed that he was the son of God through his miracles through his virgin birth through his perfect life and miracles 2000 And so he showed who he was, that he was God, but then he went to the cross. And when he was dying on the cross, he was taking all the sin in, uh, on himself and paying the penalty so that that part of the wall could be broken down, that we couldn't cross through it. But notice death is still there, and that's a major problem as well. And so three days later, he rose from the dead. Now this is, can be verified by this history. I mean, it's a, the evidence for this is really strong. The tomb was empty. There were lots of eyewitnesses. The 12 apostles changed overnight from being cowards to courageous because they really did see Jesus rise from the dead. And Christianity spread peacefully from that moment on in the early church. Um, so in other words, Jesus, the hero of the story, destroyed sin and death for us. That is awesome. And then he went to be with uh, his father again. He said, I'm going to come again and correct everything in the world. Just like you said, where is Jesus now? Well, I'm asking the same question, but I believe he will come back and make all things new, basically, which is awesome. So that means that he solved the problem. So not by trying to be a good person, but simply trusting in what Jesus has done. God gives us the free gift of eternal life and so that means that we have a choice to make we're all down here and satan the enemy of god wants us to stay down here he'll do anything he can to distract us but through faith in the gospel the good news of what jesus has done we can be born again and come into a new realm if you will where we have forgiveness for all of our sins So it's not based on trying through religion, it's based on trusting a person, which is God the Son, Jesus the Messiah. And so our lives are finite, they, they, um, you know, we do die, everyone dies, and that means our opportunity to go from here to here is cut off. And we don't know when that end of our life will be. So sooner rather than later, we should believe the gospel. And all those here have eternal security because they trusted in Christ and um, Jesus has paid for their sins. So in the future, um, God is going to come down to earth again and he's going to remake earth into what, in basically a big garden of Eden. And those who believe in this life will get to be with him in that life. And in that new life, there won't be any more cancer, no there. We still um, will have our individuality. There will be great art, architecture, friendship, sport, education, but without the selfish sin nature inside of us. And we can believe that that's going to happen because, uh, I mean, really the great proof is way back here when Jesus rose from the dead. Because Jesus rose from the dead, we can have a Re reasonable faith and trust that this is a true story and not just a, a fairy tale that makes us feel good. And so the call for you guys is to believe. Same trust, believe, have faith, have confidence in uh, Jesus, the Son of God, through whom each one of us can have eternal life and for forgiveness of sins. So that's the basic message. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's simple. A child can understand. It. Um, the older we get, the harder it is to believe, actually. So I hope that you guys will believe. Yeah. That's all we want.
Cool, cool. Thank you. Thank you. And any questions or anything we can pray for you guys about in your life? That we pass uni. Yeah. Pass uni, yeah. yeah. Are call you call all first boyfriend? years? Yeah. Boyfriend, yeah. okay. Find, find a Christian boyfriend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That will treat you well and not be a, a hypocrite, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, guys, thank you.